Hello everyone, hi this is Sampradha and we are, I'm about to give you a quick tutorial on workflow foundation. Of course we all agree that images speak a thousand words so we, I mean an, a flowchart diagram is definitely preferable to long lines of code right provided the flowchart contains all the details as the code. So here if you see you know you would find that this is easier to understand than this okay so um now now if you see that when you when you perform code reviews okay uh, peer code reviews or lead code reviews your lead probably would would like to check whether your code is compliant to the design and flow of the uh, of, uh, the flow of the system so in that case wouldn't this be a better option with the same details as the code okay so uh, so your business logic can now be given a visual representation just like this okay so now of course now from this you would you would yourself know that why we need to use workflow foundation in processes in our in our uh, projects okay so if uh, if you have a long running process that's very common with our projects now you have a process that keeps changing frequently like you get client requirements or you're following scrum and agile methodologies where you have to develop a prototype give it to your client he approves it makes changes it comes back to you and you keep changing okay so the number of iterations are more in your project and uh, you also want to have you desperately need a visual model of your process other than just the one in the design document only if it could be synchronized with the code your visual model and your code would somehow be synchronized it would be a great thing so yes in that case you can definitely go for workflow foundation you like to you'd like to have more flexibility in uh, in terms of usage maintenance and tracking yes so you are changing your workflow code your code is continuously changing but you really hate the fact that you have to you have to recompile and, and redeploy it for each small change yes that happens with us in that case also you can go go ahead and use workflow foundation visual representation of the system and subsystem workflows your business logic can now have uh, can, now, can now have a visual representation okay so it represents the business model like a flowchart workflow it's easily flexible and can be modified at runtime you wish to create a dynamic workflow runtime you you uh, you can very much have that done with with the workflow foundation okay now workflow foundation is thread agile process agile and and at the same time maintains the control flow for your system so what does that mean like you don't have to dedicate just one thread for you for one user okay this work it this has services to you know fork the thread if the you where for the user who's awaiting input you know once the input is given the thread is resumed back from where it left okay so it and the thread safety and thread agility is maintained in workflow foundation at the same time process the process is easily visible and uh, modifiable here you can add any number of code blocks here okay in between these the start and stop and uh, you know just just uh, change the flow as per your wish okay that's possible in workflow foundation and second thing the control flow if you see here only if start returns true that is if you start your application will this code run otherwise this is as good as a frozen block of code it will run only if the application is started now if this block of code is executed it would go to the next state that is stop okay so th if there's an error in this block of code it would it would terminate it would terminate the workflow and return an error okay so so this is this is what workflow foundation is trying to offer us okay now we have two types of workflow in workflow foundation one is called the sequential workflow and the other one is called state machine workflow sequential workflow is is something that um 
is suitable for very small very small applications here this is the start and this is the end okay in between you're attaching your code blocks okay and it just gives you a forward only approach that is one code block would go only to one state it wouldn't be going to multiple states okay more than two or three and so on so like ask location would go to if else block would go to stop okay so this is a simple forward only flow sequential flow now coming to the more real time scenario the state machine okay this is uh, this we had learned long time back in engineering days i believe states state machines and uh, you know uh, generating regular expressions using st state machines okay so it's that is what is implemented here too okay so when your waiting reg type just look at this diagram when your waiting reg type selection okay it would be redirected to waiting validation submit if this event is invoked event sync validating reg selected if not if event sync casual reg selected is invoked then it would be redirected to waiting reg info submit okay so this this is a directed to mul to different states based on different outputs based on this output it would be go it would be going to this state based on this output it would be going to some other state like this okay so if okay so these are the kinds of workflows offered to to us by workflow foundation okay so these are a few things that you should know before before we go ahead for the with the demo okay now workflow foundation provides us certain certain kinds of controls and services that we can use okay so it provides us with activities services long running workflows and compensation activities are simple code blocks where you can they are pre built activities where you write your own code and um, and just attach it to the workflow okay again you you mm, workflow foundation gives you the ability to build custom activities of your own just to give you an example of activity see this is called an activity code activity okay here you would go ahead and write some code within this block okay services there are many services provided by windows workflow foundation that we would with that we would come to know as and when we start uh, seeing the demo okay so don't don't really concentrate too much on this okay now uh, for long long running workflows of course uh, the workflow foundation handles the capability and uh, can persist workflows as required okay even if uh, it's long and unpredictable uh, uh, you know an execution that is long and unpredictable again like transactions in sql server you have um, you have this compensations in workflow foundation you can you can have a rollback uh, on a transaction in sql server right but here you really can't have a rollback instead it allow allows a compensation which in simple terms just um, takes some action to cover up the effect okay the undesired effect that took place as a part of the transaction which is already completed okay so these are just a few and of course we would we would see them implemented practically in our demo tracking services it, al it allows track you will see that when i debug the application you would understand how it goes from one code block to other and how developer to track um, to track where the issues are in the system rules and conditions of course i just do as we do have rules and conditions in our business logic so do we have have them here you you are just uh, it's just easier to make keep keep these rules and conditions in workflow foundation okay so just a few things to understand now if you want to see where we are using rules here this is a code activity okay here we would have rules implemented to know to which part of the um to which part of the block should this be redirected okay similarly we in asp.net application which you wish to sync with your workflow you can do that if you have a windows application you can do so you can if you have a web service you can still sync it with your workflows with, uh, with the workflow foundation that's okay okay thanks for now